Hey guys, so everyone talks about link building when it comes to SEO and I'm going to talk you through a platform where you can buy guest posts, you can get niche edits, you can rent links on a monthly basis, all on serpzilla.com. Now, this is the homepage and it's the world's largest link building platform. Now, they've got 40,000 happy users. They've got more than 140,000 websites on here across 29 different countries. And you've got all the filtering and everything else to make sure that you get the links on a website that suits you. So let's go and have a look at the back end of it. So this is the back end of Serpzilla. Now you can have all different projects for all your different clients on here. Um, and they obviously do have an affiliate program. You just ent enter some money in here to, to get your balance going. If you've got a promo code, by all means, put that in there. Um, but let's have a look at the projects and everything else or how you can create a project. So we'll create a project here, simple and easy. Now, to create a project and then go and purchase links, you can put in the domain name. You can have the Nigel Farage one in. You can go and add in some anchor text at the start um, prior to placing the links. So you go in and add anchor text. And you can obviously put the page you want to promote on that URL as well, whether that's the home page or whether that's an inner page. More on that later. So before the link, we'll just have Nigel with link Farage and after link MEP. Now you can play around with this. You can add one or more anchors. Um, Nigel Farage, I'm a celebrity, as he was on that TV show, and get me out of here. I'm just sticking in random anchor text here. That is it. Um, we can go and add some content as well if we want to. But that is the anchor text there, adding content in the URLs. We can add articles and, and stuff like that as well. However, that really depends on the type of links you're going to buy. So the type of links you can buy on here, you can rent niche edits on a monthly basis. Now, the reason that I think this is a really good option is niche edits come and go. Um, now, these links get placed, they may drop off in six months time, someone takes over the website or whatever, you only pay for these as these links are live. When the link's removed, you stop paying for that link. So let's say I've got 10 niche edits pointing to a guest post on my website. If two of them drop off, I can just go in and replace them for with, with links with similar metrics. So that is the, the rental. You can also get guest posts on here and you can obviously use your own article or you can use the advertiser's article. That is really up to you. Using your own article doesn't always mean you're going to get the placements though. Sometimes using the advertiser's article, they know their, their guidelines and they know what they're prepared to put in the websites. So sometimes it's better just letting them do the article themselves. And a link insertion just as a one-off, no monthly rentals, you can go and get these as well. Now I'm going to start with the monthly rentals, uh, the niche edits. Um, now on the right hand side here, this is where we have um, all the different kind of filters. What do we want? We can filter by price, we can filter from URL, inserted text, but more the quality of the website. So I'm going to go for a minimum DR of 30. Um, you can obviously use Citation Flow, Trust Flow, Moz, DA, uh, and various other bits and bobs. That is entirely up to you. But for me, everyone talks about um, DR when it comes to links. Now, you can also do a minimum of a thousand traffic. Uh, the minimum number of outbound links, let's say I don't want anything with more than, than, than X amount of links, you can put that in there as well. Uh, and we can scroll down further. But I'm just going to filter at the moment based on those basic filters and we can see a list of websites that we can simply go and get an issue edit from. Now something I really want to highlight is the cost of these per month. Now if I want to get on lemonfiles.com, uh, 
the cost of it is between 3 cents and 64 cents per month. Really, it is a no-brainer to do that. Now, obviously, if I click on the, the little tab there, it opens it up and it tells me the price depending on the page that I want to be on. So the price, obviously, it says three pence right up to 64. Um, that depends on the pages that you want to have your link placed on. So you're going to get some... Uh, cheap prices on, on some of these kind of pages here and for this advertise.php page it's 64 cents per month. Now we can have a look at the number of outbound links that are on that page as well. There's nine on that one. Um, how many clicks from the main page um, is that page and the SERP, uh, SERPzilla rank value is 1 to 10. Um, and it will tell you what the kind of rank value is of that page. So we can see here, that this page here for 33 is the one with the highest rank value. So you might want to consider placing a link on there. So I can literally tick that box, click buy, and go to my backlinks or continue purchases. So I've bought that backlink like that, and it'll use one of the anchors that I've put in. Uh, simple and easy as that. Now, I can go and buy multiple links here. I can tick multiple boxes and just click buy, buy, buy. Now, it doesn't make sense to buy links all on the one website. You only need one link from one website when it comes to link building. So we want to make sure that we put that tab back up and we look at other opportunities that are further down the list. But there's also other options here such as topics. So if we are in a specific niche, then we can look at topics. We can also look at language on the websites. We can also look at the domain zone. So if I only want .co.uk's, then I can enter that into the filter as well. And you can also search by keyword on the websites as well. So there's a lot of different filtering you can do to make sure that rather than look at the 140,000 potential placements on here, you can narrow them down to the ones that are in your niche, that are in the UK, or wherever you may be in the world. And for me, doing a lot of foreign language SEO is very, very hard to get linked, so you can really hone in on the massive database here and get yourself Spanish, French, Polish, whatever it may be, there's always going to be opportunities on this website. Just a final bit on the niche edits, the rentals, they can be contextual which basically means in the body of the article or, or of the website. And you can also look for site-wide links. Not quite as powerful as they once were. I would always personally be going for contextual links, but site-wide links are also available as well, but they may be fewer and further between. Um, but you can see them there um, if you want to get them. So... There we have it, uh, 100 site-wide links for 63 cents. Um, could pass a bit of power, but hey, um, there you go. Um, but that's just what these options are here. Now we're going to move on to guest posts and you can write and submit your own article with up to three thematical backlinks. The website owner then publishes that article with a little change to suit their own narrative. Or, 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 publisher writes the whole article for you based on your guidelines and then just simply publishes it to the website. Now, you can see the different times that it takes to, to make the placements and all that kind of stuff. Now, we've still got the same filters on in the right-hand side. I've randomly just put those filters on. Obviously, for, for yourself, you can filter through stuff. Um, but we can see the price in dollars uh, for some of these um, guest posts that are on here. 187, 70 on a, on a kind of DR90 and DR88, DR86. Obviously, what we can't do is dictate what someone wants to charge for a link on there, but you'll see that there's anything from, you know, $33 right up to, to a couple of hundred dollars or even a thousand dollars. That is really up to you. If you want on NDTV, then by all means, you can get that. Um, publisher's article, the prices again are all there and you can see what is the, the kind of going rate and you just have to filter through and find the best deals for yourself. Um, there's one, the Digital Journal, DR87, 
at 93 bucks. And again, just continue to scroll, filter, and find the golden gems. And there is the Daily Guardian there, DR66, $86. Perfect bargain there. So just filter your way through and get the best possible deals um, that you can get on there if you want to buy a guest post. And the other option is the link insertion in the news or in the archive. Again, I've still got the same filters on. There's more than 5,000 websites found. Classic format of link insertion is in the news. The backlink is placed inside the news article. And in the archive, the link is placed inside of the pre-existing page with a high rank. So whatever you want uh, to use, you can again filter through and go and purchase whatever you want. And you'll see the placement times on this is a hell of a lot quicker than buying a guest post where the article's got to be submitted and approved and all that kind of stuff. So you can literally go and get these placed within two days now or, or one day or whatever the time frames are. Now you can simply tick these and go and buy the links or add to cart, whatever you want to do. So that is really simple and easy. Now, once you've bought some links, it will show you the links that you've bought here, um, which you can export into a spreadsheet or whatever for, for anyone you're selling links to, or if it's a client or whatever it might be, you can export that data um, based on the links that you have purchased. Now, content, um, this is the, the all content type, but whether that be text, the anchor text, or articles, I've not got any articles in here just now, but any content you create will be under the, the content section. And of course, automation is something that we all love. Now, personally speaking, I like to manually check out what I'm doing and, and you know, do my research and filter around, and I don't think there's anything that can really beat that. But there is an auto mode on here. Now I'm going to select the Nigel Farage website and I'm going to say that I've got a budget of 50 bucks per month and I want to have one link per day and I want to maybe have a maximum of 20 links for Nigel Farage. I can create an auto mode here and indicate how many times that anchor text can be used as well. Um, again, you would want to add a lot more anchor text on here as well, but again, it can be automatic or semi-automatic. Now, automatic is fully automated. Semi-automatic, the link placements will be done after some form of moderation. And again, you can create your own filter for these links based on some of the filters I showed you earlier on in the right-hand side. And... Uh, I'm going to just create a filter just now. I'm just going to have, I don't want anything less than a DR30. And you can you, you can look at the, the rentals and everything else as well and put some stuff in there um, based on what, what you want. Um, you can also make sure that you've got them on main pages. You can stick in keywords there for the, the system to find websites based on your keywords. And we can put in prices for guest posts and link insertion. And obviously we can filter down the average placement time as well if we really wanted to. Simple and easy, just an automated link building campaign based on your filters. And if you want to build 10 links a month, the tool will go away and build 10 links a month based on all of the information that you've put into the file. So that is pretty much SerpZilla. Now, what do I do when I'm link building? Now I want to buy guest posts which point to my website. I would want to use niche edits, which are considerably cheaper on this platform to power up those guest posts. Because when you buy a guest post, the DR is 77, for example, but the UR is zilch. I want a lower cost link to power up the guest post. So when it comes to tiered link building, a lot of people will use niche edits underneath their guest posts. And it's a cost effective way to power up that guest post. And that, is the benefits of using SerpZilla, a one-off platform where you can build different types of links, you can manage, maintain, look at, manage your budget, and fully automate the whole process. So you need to make sure that you do check out SerpZilla just now, and also just to add into the mix, if you are 
an SEO and you want to make money and show people Sepzilla, they also have an affiliate program that you can look at as well if you want to share this information with other people. They will give you 25% of what people spend on the platform. So do check out Sepzilla. Any questions, leave them in the comments below or reach out to the Sepzilla team and they will get back to you. Thank you.